For this question, we are going to sketch a graph for the function f so that it has a removable discontinuity at x equal to 3 and it also has a jump discontinuity at x equal to 5. So let's go ahead and draw x axis and also the y axis. And then on the x axis, we care about when x is equal to 3 and then when x is equal to 5. So let me label it right here. Let's focus on the first situation a removable discontinuity. So Imagine the graph was continuous at the first place. Then we have like a nice graph, maybe that looks like this, right? Whenever we have a removable discontinuity, just think about, you know, this is the nice graph that we have. But somebody decided to put an open circle right here, when x is equal to 3, on the graph. It's just like, originally we have a wire, but somebody, somebody decided to you know, hole punch out a hole. On the wire right here and that will make this a discontinuity and it's actually removable meaning that if today you can fill in the hole you can make this continuous all over again you see now this wire it's been connected so to have a discontinuity a removable discontinuity we will just have an open circle on like the graph like this and then i want to have a jump discontinuity when x is equal to 5. So let me continue right here. And I'm just going to stop right here. And I'm going to have a jump. So I can jump up or jump down up to you. I will just jump down right here. For example, maybe like graph like this. And I cannot include both endpoints right here. Otherwise, this is not a function. What I can do is I can put an open circle on the endpoint right here and another open circle right here. And this is a jump discontinuity. And it doesn't really say if the graph has to be continuous from the left or from the right. So I don't need to fill in these open circles. And if you would like, you know, you can also have like a closed circle up here somewhere. It doesn't really matter. But I think this is okay. This is a possible graph for these two conditions. That's all.